Hey everyone, welcome to a new month. But before we move into February and all the fun things ahead of us, let's recap January. I have two recap videos that I do every month. The first are my personal monthly favorites and that's what we're doing today. These are the top 20 most favorite things. I have five favorites for each category. And then in a little bit, in a future video, we're gonna recap what your favorites were, the best sellers from last month. So let's jump into the first category, which is beauty. Okay, this is not new, but I need to share this because I've been wearing this a ton. We've been doing a lot more walking and oftentimes I'll just throw on some sunscreen or tinted sunscreen and not have any makeup on when we do our walks. Sometimes I just want a little bit more because maybe I'm gonna run into the grocery store or do something afterward. So here's the combo that I have been loving for my no makeup makeup days or super light makeup days. And it is this guy. This is the Ilia Serum Foundation. It is in the shade ST3 Balos. This is super lightweight. It has very minimal coverage, but it does even out the skin tone just a little bit. It's you, but just a little bit better. And I like it on its own, but I found a magical combination if you want really glowy, pretty, really pretty skin that looks really fresh. First, you do the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter pretty much all over your face. It gives a nice subtle glow and a little bit of coverage, which helps because this has almost no coverage. And then you put this on top, perfect. Perfect, loving, loving that. Along with that product from Ilia, one that I rediscovered, it's been sitting in a drawer since September, is the Ilia Liquid Light Serum Highlighter. It comes in two shades. I have the shade Atomic, which is more of a pearlescent, silvery pink, great for fairer skin tones. I like this on its own, but I saw this on some video on Instagram, like an Instagram reel, where she used a liquid blush interspersed with a liquid highlighter and blended them together, and that's what's going on here. And I have a beautiful combination. So it's the Tarte Man Eater Blush and Glow, and I have it in the shade pink, that's easy to remember. And then I dot it along with the Ilia Serum Highlighter. Is it a serum highlighter? It's a liquid highlighter. It's so pretty, it's so luminous. If it looks too pink or too luminous, you can always put powder on top of it and tone it down. I think this is so, so pretty for that winter, what do they call that, like the ice princess look? I don't know what they're calling it, but it's a, it's a winter makeup trend or just a fresh faced trend. I don't know if I will continue this into the warmer months when I'm just gonna look like I'm sweating, but for right now in this cold, dry weather, love this combination. I'm into the combos. Okay, another beauty favorite for January was this Naked Mini Palette, and I wore this more days than not. In fact, I'm wearing it today as well. This is great for a no makeup makeup, well, not no makeup, light makeup look. I have it in the shade Sin. It does come in other palette colors as well. I tend to really only wear three shades. The shade Boring is a light matte brown, and today I flipped it around in more of a very light-handed smoky eye, so I have the shade Boring all over my lid and up into the crease. I have the darkest matte shade Twisted all over my lid and just a little bit up into the socket line. And then I tapped Sin, which is basically my skin tone, just a little bit better and shimmery in the middle of the lid like that. So that's all that's going on. If you just want a wash of color all over your lid, Sin is fantastic. And then there are a few pink tones as well. This is so easy to use. It's so travel friendly. It's a just great everyday makeup palette. And then the lip color I've been wearing the most and have talked about actually the least when I was looking back at all my posts is this new release from Maybelline. It is part of their green line and it is their Maybelline Green Edition Balmy Lip Blush, specifically in the shade Moonlight. It's what I have on my lips now. It's a similar concept, like the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips, but this one, first of all, it's retractable. You don't have to pump it, it's just a twist. This is more lipstick than balm, so it's more pigmented, it's not as creamy and melty. It's like a traditional lipstick, but really hydrating. So it's very comfortable on the lips, and for those of you who hate the tart, juicy lip balms and think they're messy, I think you're really gonna enjoy this. And of course, it's drugstore, so you're really gonna enjoy the price. 
I have to give an honorable mention to a couple of products. They're not, they are favorites, but I try to limit myself to just five. We're gonna cheat here. The first is the lip liner that I've been pairing a lot, especially with this combination. You don't need a lip liner. You don't need, you don't need any of the things I'm sharing with you clearly, but I have noticed as I am aging, my lip line is less defined. And especially when I wear more hydrating, balmier lip shades, Sometimes it needs a little help corralling it or defining it. So these tart, juicy lip liners pair really nicely with that kind of lipstick. The more sheer lipsticks, the really hydrating lipsticks. It gives the lipstick something to cling to and also to stop them from bleeding out all over your face. So the one I reach for the most is Soft Pink. I love this. And then this is the honorable mention. I found this in my powder drawer when I was rearranging things. I got this from Laura Mercier PR, I don't know, months ago, if not longer, and I thought, this is never gonna work. It's a face powder, but it's their translucent loose setting powder, but it's the light catcher, so it's, it's shimmery. I mean, I guess you could use it almost as a highlighter. See that shimmer? Look at that, woo! So yeah, if you pack it on with your finger like that, you could definitely use it as a highlighter. I have been using it with a big fluffy brush, like a powder brush, all over my face, and I'm wearing it all over my face except for under my eyes today. And it just gives the prettiest, softest, true airbrush effect with a very subtle glow. It's not like a full on bam. It's reminiscent to me of the old Lancome kind of loose highlighting powder that Jaclyn Hill made a, like a cult favorite, but it's a lot more wearable. It comes in a couple other colors. I have mine in Celestial Light. And again, it's a beautiful, soft focus, subtle glow. I don't know that I would pull this out during the summer months, but for right now, I think it's really pretty to kind of liven up the complexion. Now let's move on to clothing favorites. So first let's start with this. This is a ribbed colored sweater that has sort of more of a dolman sleeve to it. So it's tighter around the wrist and then it kind of loosens up here. The softest, most beautiful, Mm, I love this. It is so cozy. It's cute. It's true to size, if not a little oversized. I'm wearing mine in a size small. Comes in a bunch of colors. It's on Amazon, so you know it's a great price with a lot of great color options. It's so pretty. I love this. I'm actually going to an influencer event tonight for a restaurant grand opening, and this is from the waist up. This is what I'm actually wearing. It's just, you can dress it up. You can dress it down. I'm going to dress it up a little bit. If you follow me on Instagram, you will, you will see that outfit. If not already, then eventually. I have been reaching for a lot of button up blouses this month. Our weather's been weird and kind of transitional, although not right now. Not Now we're worried about ice. But in that in-between weather, I love a button up blouse. And I have been wearing my all-time favorite chambray denim one all month long. And it had been discontinued or removed from the Chico's website for a really long time. And I'm so excited because not only did I wear it all month, but it's back on the website. Now it's back on the website, like a shade darker than the one that I have. But if you love a denim shirt, but you like a soft, more tensile fabric, it's more flowy. This is also made from their touch of cool fabric. So you won't get overheated in it. Of course, this time of year, who gets overheated? If you live in Texas, you're getting ready for rodeo season. You need this in your collection. It's just such a versatile piece of clothing. When you have a pair of pants that are not jeans, that are not denim, and then they're a weird color and you don't know what to pair with it, a denim shirt, hands down every time. This one is fantastic. And I wear mine in their size zero small. Next on my clothing favorites is this plaid, pink plaid tweed blazer from Maurice's. And I'll admit, when I was looking online, because I think it's only available online, that's how I ordered it anyway, I read the reviews and they were not great, but I figured it is my job to find out the good, the bad, and the not so good, so let me see how it goes and I'll report to you. Do not be fooled by the reviews. I love, love this blazer. Now it is really lightweight. This is not a heavy duty, super constructed blazer at this price point. It's not expected to be. It fits more like a boyfriend blazer in the torso. It is definitely a looser fit. The arms, I don't think they're tight. I do not have well-toned arms and they are, it is not too snug. Now you're not gonna wear it over a sweater. That's just not what it's meant to be worn over. I like wearing mine over a t-shirt, graphic tees, loose fitting blouses, that kind of thing. If you have larger arms, you could size up one 
but do not go by those like two reviews who said that the arms are too tight. I don't know. Who, I don't know who they are. I wish they would like provide a picture or some idea of what. But if you have normal arms or toned arms, even you do not need to size up. If you are at all concerned, go ahead and go up one. But I think it is such a great find at such a great price point. You don't want to miss it before it sells out. I also did a dressing room try on at Athleta this month. Lots of great finds. The standout for sure was their cargo pants. They look like nice dressier pants. They fit and feel like athletic pants because kind of that's what they are. They're outstanding. Now, Athleta is always having a sale. So if you don't want to pay the full price, I don't blame you. They're a little pricey. Go ahead and wait on a sale. If you follow me on stories or get my weekly newsletter, I'll let you know when those are happening. But at full price, I will say it's a little bit of a splurge, but it's probably a, a pant you're gonna wear over and over and over. When I was teaching in the classroom, this would have been the kind of pant that I would have worn. It would have been higher on my budget, but I know that I would have worn it probably once a week. It's that kind of pant. I think it comes in three colors. I got the navy, comes in black and a khaki as well, and I'd say it runs true to size. And then the last clothing favorite, it's from Amazon. Amazon has a new line called Amazon Aware, and it's meant to be more sustainable, climate friendly. It's the most incredible sweatshirt I have ever worn. It is a slightly puff sleeve sweatshirt, it comes in lots of nice colors. I love the cream that I got. But the thing here is it is the softest, most luxurious fabric I have ever put on my body. It is very similar, if you're familiar with the Spanx Air Essentials loungewear, very similar to that fabric, even softer. And it's the first piece that I've ordered from the Amazon Aware line, and, but it will not be the last because this one was incredible. Again, true to size, I got mine in a size small. Are we noticing that the light is going away? The ice storm approaches. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. I really wanna to go to this event. Okay, let's get through accessories. I played a little fast and loose with this category. So first and foremost has to be this quilted crossbody from Time and True. Everybody who ordered it when I first introduced this in the Walmart video has been raving to me about it in DMs and emails. Outstanding. They have since released a bunch more in this line. They released another version of this in a black background with floral and butterfly print. It's interesting. It's not my taste, but you may like it. There is a backpack, a travel, like all kinds of stuff. I'll list it down in the description box, all the links to this whole line. It is very much MZ Wallace inspired, I think. It is outstanding. I cannot believe this is under $25. They, I think every piece in this collection is, and they are really nicely done. I can't remember if I've talked about this in a favorites before, but I have had this pave heart necklace on every day since I got it. And so even if I've mentioned it before, I'm mentioning it again because it is so pretty and it's only $60. It looks like a really expensive fine piece of jewelry. It's from Kendra Scott. It's not, it's at Kendra Scott and it's at Nordstrom. I've linked them both down in the description box. I know some of us like to get it from Nordstrom so we can get our points, but um, I'm linking it at both places. And it might also come in silver as well, but it's so pretty and it's an adjustable necklace. You can make it longer or shorter depending on what you are wearing. I have resisted for a very long time pairing sneakers with jeans unless they were white, but I don't know what came, I've been cleaning out my closet, organizing as we all do this time of year, and I found these Tory Burch sneakers. Now these exact ones are not currently available. I will link the newest version because I bought these I think two years ago from the Nordstrom anniversary sale, never wore them. Finally pulled them out, I've been wearing them with my straight leg jeans. I love these. It's not specifically because they're Tory Burch. In fact, I found a very similar color model from Walmart, obviously much more, it's 20 something dollars. It's the combination of this neutral suede and then the white creamy body of the shoe. That's the part that I love. It just makes it look like a dressier sneaker. I've seen New Balance is doing it. Obviously Walmart, they're time and true. I think it's time and true. Tory Burch as well. The Tory Burch version for 2023 is currently on sale at Nordstrom. So that one is linked as well. But I just love this color combination in a sneaker for non-athletic things. Number four for accessory favorites. This is kind of random. I ordered this as a, as a coat to wear outside and I ordered it a size up. I would say get your true size, but I have been wearing this as like a house coat 
around the house when it gets cold or at night when I'm watching TV instead of getting a blanket, I throw this thing on. It comes in lots of colors. I got it in this kind of creamy white shade. It's so smushy, it's so soft, it's so cuddly. I wear it instead of a robe some mornings. So yeah, it's great if you wanna wear it outside, but if you are looking for something in lieu of a blanket, especially at night while you're watching TV or reading, you've gotta try that jacket. It's fantastic. And then lastly, I don't know if this is really an accessory, but we're gonna throw it in there. My brand new pair of pajamas. I did a reel about this recently. It's new from Joyce Bun at Walmart. You know how much I love my Print Fresh pajamas. They're like $168. These are the same exact material, 100% cotton poplin. They're moisture wicking. They keep you cool at night. They're $12.98 per piece. So under $26 for the whole set and they come in multiple colors. I'm so excited about this. I hope they extend this line moving into spring, maybe release some robes and some other pieces in this fabric. So excited because even my Amazon pajamas that are the 100% cotton poplin are close to 70 or $80 now. So this is a fantastic bind. Now let's close it up with lifestyle stuff. First of all, you know I love the ruggable, washable rugs, but they can be a pain in the butt to put them back together after you wash them. Then I found the Better Homes and Gardens washable rugs at Walmart, and those are great. But I needed some long runners, and I found another brand. They carry them at Walmart, and they carry them at Amazon, but they're cheaper at Walmart. And they're from the brand New Loom, and I ordered a set of runners to go around my bed instead of one big rug underneath it. They're easier to pull out and wash that way. They're very similar to the Better Homes and Gardens. They come in a bunch of colors, and the 10 foot long runner was under 50 bucks. They're outstanding and they fit my washing machine. There were a couple new releases from the Home Edit and I grabbed a couple. They're now releasing pieces in bamboo and I picked up the two turntables they released. The shallow one I have next to my stove where I have my salt and pepper, or my olive oil, that kind of stuff. And it's easy to rotate it and grab what I need without knocking stuff over. And then I got the higher sided one and I'm using that one as my fruit bowl on the counter. And it's, again, it's kind of nice that it's a turntable. So instead of just digging through the fruit, I can just kind of spin it and see what I need. And it's pretty and it's very like, clean lines. So I'm really enjoying those. I talked about this in my Amazon travel essentials. If you're like me and you're finding that you're taking more and more medication, maybe a couple times a day, these have been great. This is a full month's worth of pills, AM and PM, days one through 31 and one extra day. They're super deep. They fit a ton of pills and it's just nice to fill the whole thing up once and then you don't have to deal with doling out your pills for the rest of the month. It's fantastic. I've been loving these. Highly recommend them. And speaking of pills, now a lot of you ask me about what kind of supplements and stuff I take. I'm a little hesitant to share this and I need to stress again, check with your doctor first because depending on what medication you take, things can interact in a very bad way. So don't just run out and buy whatever I, I say is good because I am a fashion influencer and I have a degree in elementary education. I am not a doctor or a pharmacist or any kind of scientist, okay? Now that we have that clear, I have been recommended to start taking fish oil. It's great at either lowering the bad cholesterol or raising the good, I can't remember. There's all kinds of other great benefits and I have tried a bunch of fish oil capsules and they are gross, okay? You either burp it up and it's burping out fish scent, which is nasty. Anyway, I recently saw a cardiologist. I'm fine, don't worry about it. In fact, I'm in outstanding health according to the cardiologist and he recommended a fish oil capsule that used to be only prescription only in all the studies that they do, somehow this one was the most effective and it's on Amazon. So I'm gonna link it, it's down there, there's your picture. And I have not had any ill effects. I take one a day. Again, talk to your doctor as to how many you should be taking, if any at all, but no burping, no weird indigestion. Can't tell you about my cholesterol yet, it hasn't been that long. Fingers crossed, we're doing well. Okay, and then lastly, my last favorite, it's not the phone case itself, it's this little ring. Can you see it's got a clear back and then it's the gold loop. It's actually a set. I picked up the set that has gold, silver, and rose gold. I just have it on a basic clear phone case. But what's great about this is obviously it works like the loopy does. So I can take my selfies with my finger in here. I can carry it around, you know, like with my hands full like this. But because it's hard, I can also use it as a kickstand on a flat surface to watch my videos and stuff when I'm getting dressed. So. 
I love this and I love that it's clear because then you can stick it on any phone case, even one that has decorations or patterns and it doesn't interfere or clash with your case. So I love this. I do love my loopy, but I like this just a little bit better because then I only need this with the loopy. I have the little plastic loop and then I have to attach a pop socket so that I can still prop it up to watch videos and the like. So those were my favorites from January, 2023. I would love to hear from you. Did any of these make your favorites list? Will you be here to watch what the viewer favorites were? I hope so. So please subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next one.